What about the case of three or more authors? What do we do in that case? Well, in the MLA, it's a little bit confusing because it's quite different than maybe what we're used to in the APA. But let's look at it here. Very clearly, verdict, comma, and, and what happens? We just change the other authors to at all. Now this is inside the reference list. We've already looked at inside the citation, the inline citation in the text, we can use the at all. But here in the reference list, at the end of your research paper, at the end of your dissertation, at the end of your thesis, you have this list, and it's the same rule. If it's three or more names, then you just condense it to at all. So in this case, verdict is the last name, and is the first name, comma, who are the other authors there, at all, period. So that's the end of that bit there. And this is Digital Humanities, which must be a book. How do I know it's a book? Because there's no quotation marks and it's using italics at the angle. And then we have MITP, and P must be what? That must be press. Comma before, comma after that, MIT press. 2012 is the year, and with a period.